Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We continue again to see some fairly quiet conditions into the area for tonight and into the next couple of days. We're going to be seeing some more interesting weather coming our direction. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. It is just past 830. Again, things looking again pretty quiet for right now. We may see the possibility of some more problems into the area as we go into very early tomorrow morning with some fog out across portions of the Mid-South. But as of right now, we again don't have much of anything going on, at least just yet. Some patchy haze out across much of the area, but so far that's about all that we have to worry about and more potential of chances of showers and thunderstorms into the forecast as we head into later on this week. Could even be the potential of some severe weather out there, but not really seeing anything guaranteed at this point in time out across much of the area. So this is again something that's very preliminary. We'll be watching this again throughout the course of the rest of the next couple of days. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that as we keep you updated with what's going on into and around the Mid-South. Welcoming in all of our Facebook viewers as well for tonight. We are live on Periscope Twitter and my own Facebook page. So we have tons to talk about for this evening. Uh, forecast information down at the bottom of your screen if you're watching on Twitter and Periscope for right now. And if you're on Facebook, well, we'll update you coming up a little bit later on for tonight. A lot to talk about. We'll take a look at the school day forecast. We'll also take a look and see what's going to be going on with holiday travel weather coming up within the course of the next couple of days. And also what's going on around the world with weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones stationed overseas, Seas on this Veterans Day holiday weekend. Yes, the holiday is officially over, but every day is Veterans Day, or at least it should be, as we remember those who are wearing the uniform out there, and we'll talk more about that coming up, and most importantly, where you can find the information to keep track of what's going on out there, so stay tuned for more on that. Nothing in the way of earthquakes showing up in the Mid-South. Yes, technically, this is not anything to do with weather, but we feature this because, again, we're so close to the New Madrid fault line. We also mentioned this because earlier today in the area around Iran and Iraq, there was a major earthquake of about 7.2. That energy rang the surface of the earth like a bell, and that energy went right through the Mid-South at about maybe early this afternoon. If you'd like to see more about that, you can go to my uh, Instagram pages and also Twitter and other pa social media pages for more information about what was detected and where. We didn't feel it anywhere around this area, but it is notable in the fact that that energy made its way all the way around the world. So kind of need to see that. More information from the United States Geological Survey and from University of Memphis's own Center for Earthquake Research and Information. Lots of snow. Winter has descended with a thud out into Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. Definitely the season for getting a lot more of this in the higher elevations. Not that much going on where we are in the Mid-South at this time. A little bit of patchy haze showing up in and around West Memphis, Arkansas, looking back toward downtown Memphis on the horizon. So we are seeing, again, some areas getting some fog early on tonight. Visibility not too bad, but starting to decrease a little bit at the Baptist DeSoto Camp in South Haven. I-55 Goodman Road overpass looking off toward Horn Lake off into the, into the distance and seeing a little bit more fog there. A little bit more haze seen above the lights of West Memphis, Arkansas. Traffic on I-55 and the Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely tonight with a few pedestrians and bicyclists out for this evening. So kind of nice in the Mid-South, not doing too bad, but more fog expected into tomorrow morning. If you can't stick around for the entire forecast. Here's what it looks like in a nutshell. We've got numbers back in the high 50s as we go into tomorrow, lower 60s for around Tuesday. And heading into Wednesday, more chances of showers and possibly some thunderstorms developing as we get into around evening. We'll talk more about that in detail coming up in just a little bit. Right now in Storm Tracker 3S radar, we have nothing showing up in the way of rain. West Tennessee, Boot Heel, Missouri, eastern Arkansas. There were some scattered showers into around areas south of Oxford. You can just detect a minor echo or so showing up between there and Columbus down to the east of I-55, but beyond that, there really is not that much going on across the Mid-South night. That could change into the next couple of days. Now, most of the rainfall we saw with a very weak cold front move through the area Earlier today, there just is not all that much of it at this time. We do have, again, some scattered light showers well on down toward the Gulf of Mexico, very light down toward Jackson, over toward Alexandria, Shreveport, Dallas, and all the way back to the south of Atlanta, getting some more activity here, and also a little bit more showers back up into the Carolinas. Heaviest activity approaching 
the D.C. Delmarva area and right over Ohio back over to the south of Lake Erie and east of Lake Michigan tonight as that area of low pressure moves its way on through. It's not a huge storm system, but it did have enough to kick up a few showers out across the Mid-South, and that is pretty much about it for right now. Probably not going to be seeing too much in the way of more activity throughout the rest of the evening as this up here is fairly dry air, so not that much heading our way into the evening hours. This, on the other hand, could be a problem into tomorrow morning as we get into the area close to around daybreak and getting the kids off to the school bus. We could see, again, the potential for a little bit of the way of fog out there, and parts of the Mid-South are looking like we could see some fog in and around the area. Looks like I don't have my Telestrator tool working here for tonight. Maybe? Nope, guess not. Well, you can pretty well see what's going on here for the rest of the afternoon and evening. More chances of fog developing out there. Well, it was a nice trick while it lasted. We see again possibility of visibility near zero into portions of West Tennessee and back into northwestern Mississippi. Now, again, so far we do not have a dense fog advisory in effect, but we could have one as we get into tomorrow morning. So stay tuned for more with News Channel 3's Todd Demers. Let's run the numbers and show you what we've got going on into tomorrow morning around daybreak. We could see some temperatures back in the upper 30s, lower to mid 40s. Winds out of the northeast could be a little breezy and wind chills could be a little bit of a problem there. Dry throughout the day, again, clouds kind of coming and going back into the mid-50s, close to 60 degrees by tomorrow afternoon, picking the kids up from school, and then dry into tomorrow night as Jim Jaggers begins to give your forecast tomorrow night on News Channel 3 at 10. Looking way ahead into the forecast, this Wednesday, showers and thunderstorms with a new front coming on through, new burst of energy, winds coming up out of the south as we go toward Friday. That could be our next best chance of thunderstorms that could involve severe weather. That could go right on into early Saturday. Now, looking ahead as we go into next week, not this upcoming week, but next week, going right before we hit the road for Thanksgiving. If you know anybody who's heading into the Mid-South, new storm system starts to swirl through the area because, of course, it's Thanksgiving, so naturally we need another storm system to head on through. Now, earlier in the last couple of days, the forecast was calling for the winds back here to transport in a lot more cold air, and that is going to be happening, cooling things off as we head into Thanksgiving, but also a lot of warm air ahead of this and the swirl right in here. That's that area of low pressure mixing together. A few days ago, right between, say, St. Louis, Cincinnati, Lexington, Paducah, there was this small chance of some frozen precipitation mixed in with that. As of right now, according to this forecast model, we're not seeing anything like that at this time as we go into next Tuesday. Most of what we're seeing at this time is going to, again, be the potential of some showers and possibly some thunderstorms going on. But much of what we're looking at this time looks like my tracker does not want to work tonight, so sorry about that. But for right now, again, this is what we're going to be taking a look at for mainly rain and thunderstorm purposes across the Mid-South as we get right before the time everybody hits the road for Thanksgiving. So if you know anybody who's heading this direction, this could be something to warn them about as we look for more chances of rain and thunderstorms more than anything else. So keep up to date on that with News Channel 3. Back in the mid to upper 50s tomorrow, mostly clear by tomorrow evening, but clouds starting off the day. Hopefully clear enough to see the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter right off the southeast horizon tomorrow morning. We'll be watching for that to see if we can see that tomorrow. Lower 60s by Tuesday, but staying on the dry side. And then more chances of rainfall as we get into the rest of this next week. Starting on Wednesday afternoon and evening, continuing through Thursday. Bit of a break Thursday night into Friday, and then Friday afternoon and evening, more chances of showers and thunderstorms, and that goes right on into next Saturday morning, where the potential does exist again for more areas of showers and thunderstorms that could be of a stronger nature. So that's what we're going to be looking for as we go toward next weekend. After that, we catch a bit of a break, and then another chance of showers and thunderstorms again late on Tuesday. Big travel day coming up, a lot of people in motion on Wednesday, and of course we've got cooler weather and also the possibility of showers and thunderstorms across portions of the area. So this could be something that may be a bit of a problem out there for a lot of travelers. So we'll be keeping an eyes on this, and remember that these numbers will change over the next several days. So please keep it tuned to News Channel 3. 
for more on that. If you're just tuning in, time is just about 8.43, coming up on the quarter hour right before 9 o'clock. This is Weather Overtime, our online video weather blog for you to be able to take a look at weather on your schedule if you're on the go or sitting at home and want to see what's happening before the news at 10 for tonight. This is a special segment that we draw out from time to time to where we let people know what's going on, weather across various other portions of the rest of the world. And again, this is where we see again the weather across the uh, area around Around where troops are located and if you'd like to know more about this we'll give you the website for this where you can look up what's going on where you may have friends loved ones or relatives serving overseas 77 degrees at Guantanamo Bay in Cuba 400 of an inch of rain today 74 the low 88 the high over portions of Europe and into the Mediterranean fairly chilly right now 30s around portions of Germany 50s back toward the former Yugoslavia around the area close to Camp Bonsteel. Temperatures back in the lower 50s right now. Now again, some of these locations may not be up to date specifically. We're just trying to give you nearby areas of what may be located close to areas that may be uh, where your family or loved ones will be serving. So again, this is not entirely accurate for the location specifically. Just to give you kind of a bowling ball estimate out there for what may be going on. Big earthquake again today in the region of Iran and Iraq. Buildings shook around Baghdad today. 49 degrees. These temperatures in Iraq right now, very similar to what the Mid-South has been seeing over the last few hours. So if you want to know what it feels like in parts of Iraq, all you had to do is go outside in the Mid-South today to feel that. Back into Afghanistan, sun is coming up. Sunrise just a little while ago. 46 degrees in Faizabad. Kabul at 44. 51 in both Kandahar and Herat into the western part of the country with partly cloudy skies. Heading toward the rest of the Persian Gulf, temperatures in the upper 50s around Riyadh and Saudi Arabia. 64 degrees at Kuwait, 75 Doha and Qatar, and around Bahrain, temperature is 77 degrees. And back toward the demilitarized zone and much of South Korea, temperatures remain back into the mid-upper 40s to the lower 50s with partly to mostly cloudy skies. And time coming up on noon Monday on the other side of the day line. If you'd like to see more of these sites and get weather around the world for yourself, there's an easy way to do it. It's all courtesy of the World Meteorological Organization through the United Nations, and it's a good opportunity to learn more about what goes on around our planet. Now, not every location has a weather station to give you updated information on the hour and doesn't have all those fancy a lot of areas do not have all the equipment needed for that but there's climate data there's rainfall data there's research available there's all kinds of great stuff available for students for anybody in the military for friends and loved ones on the home front and all you have to do is go to this website public.wmo.int if you miss that we'll be featuring that we'll put that at the top in the comment section so you can research that for yourself. Easily available, free information again all over the world, and a great place to pick it up again is through the World Meteorological Organization. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures this weekend as well. Savcap123, sunset looking through the bridge last night, Saturday, beautiful view over the Mississippi River. James R. Gulledge from around Milan, Tennessee, several pictures of some nice autumnal views of the leaves out there, and a spectacular one from Tamara Theobald from W.C. Johnson Park in Collierville. Very nice view of some sunlit leaves yesterday before they fall off the trees. Great time of year to get those pictures out there, but rapidly running out of leaves as we head through mid-November. And if you've got pictures like this that you'd like to share, we'd love to show them on our newscasts or on social media, but we can't show them unless you send them in. So if you have the opportunity, please do so. Let us know what you're seeing out there. Aonic underscore WRAG3, Austinonic WRAG on Facebook, or Aonic WRAG3 on Instagram. We'd love to have you along for the ride. So please send us your pictures and we'd love to get them on social media as well. Tomorrow morning at the bus stop, temperatures will be brisk back in the lower to mid 40s with patchy fog around. And again, heading toward dismissal time, last bell before you head on home for the car rider line and the bus rider line. Temperatures will be pushing 60 degrees in parts of the Mid-South, but no rainfall protection needed, it looks like, for tomorrow. Early start for some of that patchy fog would not be a bad idea, so please keep that in mind out there. We can catch more of my forecast tomorrow morning. You can catch Todd Demers forecast coming up tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. You can also catch my forecast throughout the rest of what's left of the weekend on the East Arkansas broadcast stations, and I'll be back on tomorrow morning and every weekday morning with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live. That's on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. If you can't catch them online because you're outside of their signal radius, 
listen to them on their own website. They broadcast live here. They netcast at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Great place to pick up your forecast and tons of sports chat in the two hours that are on the air and a lot of other stuff going on as well. So some neat stuff available there yeah, as you see that there. Not going on late tonight. That's a nice little change for us. We'll be on at 10 o'clock. So join us for more of the forecast details coming up a little bit later on this evening. And we'll wrap up the weekend and give you an idea as to what's going on throughout the rest of the week. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition of Weather Overtime. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for much more coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend and into this next week.